Okay. The the fires are out. You're going to be fine. You'll All be right. fine. They'll be there very shortly. Some of the rescues were right out of Hollywood. A pregnant woman plucked from the rooftop by a helicopter. A firefighter pulled from the crater of the explosion. All right, the story is ever-changing, and the latest word on the explosion at the World Trade Center, five people are now dead and more than 300 people injured. By evening, the fires had been brought under control, but the shock waves from the explosion were far from over. New York's normally lunatic Friday evening rush hour became pure chaos. Roadways, bridges, and tunnels closed. Commuter and subway service disrupted. Then came the biggest shock of all. This catastrophe reportedly was caused by a massive explosive device placed in the sub-basement of the Trade Center. The machine had been broken not by a freak act of nature or by metal fatigue or by human error, but by a deliberate act of terror in a garage that houses cars of the Secret Service, cars that were to be used during a presidential visit to this area in three days. We have